We are the Sooner Rover Team, and this is our system acceptance review for the University Rover Challenge 2021. The rover is driven remotely using the IP protocol, connected over a 2.4 GHz network bridge with base station and rover antennas. We have developed various programs for Linux, all in-house, to control our rover. All of our code has been written from the ground up, other than using libraries like OpenCV and languages like Rust, C, and Python. The ARM program uses inverse kinematics to make complex tasks with the end effector simpler for the operator. The video streamer can be configured to prepare up to six cameras and provide up to three video streams concurrently, allowing the operator to gain increased situational awareness when driving the rover, performing fine manipulation with the arm, and collecting samples with the science package. Video streams can be dynamically stopped and started depending on which cameras are needed for the current operation. To account for uncertain network conditions, the frame rate and quality of the streamed image can be altered to keep the latency as low as possible. The video streamer uses a custom algorithm to determine the most efficient timing for sending information to mission control and minimizing resource usage. Video recordings from each camera can also be saved to the rover and retrieved afterwards for post-mission analysis. This year, the arm is built using linear actuators, giving it extra strength for lifting heavy objects, as well as providing a substantial amount of stability and control. Here, we see it lifting five kilograms with ease. The arm is an independent, removable subsystem of the rover and can easily be swapped with another subsystem, such as the science package. Almost all electrical systems are contained on the subsystems, allowing us to quickly change what attachment is being used. We plan on adding a hook to the design to aid lifting objects with handles. This year's science mission will be a combination of chemical and visual analyses for the presence of biosignatures. A drill and vacuum system is used to collect regolith samples. The drill has the capability to drill to a depth of 12 centimeters. The vacuum suctions regolith from the drill site and deposits it into the sample tubes. We are using multiple camera angles to document the reaction as well as to document the presence of extant or extinct life forms in surface analyses. We are using hydrogen peroxide as an oxidizer to identify organic substances, particularly in any regolith samples. Effervescence of the regolith peroxide suspension indicates the presence of organic substances. The Marzakod design allows our rover to maintain balance and control throughout the extreme traversal task. The 12-inch diameter wheels provide a low center of gravity with a chassis that prevents high centering of the rover while rubber grousers give the necessary traction for the rover to drive over steep inclines of both rock and soft dirt. As you can see here, the rover can drive over a field of concrete and rebar without failure. In other testing scenarios, the rover is able to traverse inclines of up to 45 degrees. Here the rover is driving to a set of GPS coordinates that we gave it fully autonomously. The rover is driving using a PID algorithm to steer using the desired heading as a set point and the current heading from the onboard GPS as the process variable in this algorithm. As the rover is driving towards the GPS coordinates, it is looking for the air tag that is at the end of the leg using a variety of different filters so it can see the air tag in any lighting without calibration. Once it sees the air tag, the rover switches from driving to the GPS coordinates to track the air tag and using the same PID algorithm but using the AR tag's heading as a new set point. Once it is driven within three meters of the AR tag, the rover stops and the LEDs turn green. While the rover is stopped, the mission controls enters a new list of GPS coordinates for the rover to drive to, and once it is given the signal, the rover turns the LEDs red and continues on its way. The autonomous program uses a dynamic filter created using OpenCV that allows for the rover to see the AR tags in a variety of different lighting conditions without calibration. 
Here, the AR tag is being moved and tilted so that the sun hits in a variety of different ways, but the program automatically adjusts for this to ensure that it does not lose sight of where the AR tag is. 